still got a little bit of oil drip there. Not bad though, not like it was. Hey cats, what's happening? Welcome to the man cave. You can see my breath out here today. It's plenty cold. I mean, this morning it was like two degrees, northeast Ohio. Uh, no more snow, but just real cold temperatures. So <laughs> she ain't going nowhere. But uh, thinking about the future, you know, a few months from now, we'll be back on the road on two wheels. I've had some people that, and you may know some people that have never been, maybe you have never been to Sturgis, South Dakota for the, for the big rally. But uh, I've been out there numerous times over the years and uh, really enjoyed myself. Every time I go out there, it's a different experience, but I really enjoyed myself. I uh, really had some good, good memories and a lot of good stories. But, uh, you know, people that haven't been out there before kind of have this uh, impression that uh, it's like Sin City. Like when you go out there, you're just going to see nudity and people running around naked and people having sex and, and all kinds of crazy stuff. I can tell you this, and I think you'll agree with me if you've been out there, you can make it whatever you want. Uh, if you want to take the family out there and take the kids out there, you can make it a family-friendly time. Because, really, in general, you're not going to see any of that crazy stuff so much. Uh, if you do want to see that kind of stuff, though, I'm sure you could find it if you dig hard enough. And then when I say family friendly, you know, you're not going to take your kids into a bar or a saloon. You're not going to take your kids to the full throttle saloon. Because uh, any of those bars like that, you know, the full throttle saloon, the broken spoke, uh, any of them you go to, the barmaids are going to be scantily clad. When I say scantily clad, it could be anything from A to Z. Some of them are going to wear a thong. Some of them might wear a little more. But, and then you got to remember, too, these aren't uh, beauty contest uh, contestants either. Uh, they're barmaids. They're just regular gals from, the, you know, the, the gal next door. So, yeah, uh, some of them might not be the best eye candy if you know what I'm saying. But you'll know that when you walk into these establishments, that's what you're going to have behind the bar. You know, some guys like to just sit at the bar and ogle at the barmaid all day long, drinking their beer. Not my cup of tea, but yeah, some that's, that's what some of the guys do. The best thing I can do is share some of my experiences. I mean, one of the for, well, it wasn't the first time. It was probably like the third time I was out there. I stayed at a campground that was uh, just out of Sturgis. And it was, uh, well, I guess I could call it like a pop-up campground. It wasn't really, it, it, it's not a campground that was there all year round. But for the rally, they made it a camping area there. It was pretty much a field. But there was a, a, a bar there, a, a saloon, on the property, just kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And they had uh, strippers inside the place, pole dancers, so to speak. I never went in there. Uh, there wasn't really anything of my interest at the time. And uh, But I'd see the girls come out in their bikinis, their thongs or whatever, and walk around smoking cigarettes outside. Uh, and I kind of knew what was going on in there. And of course, there was guys that flocked to that, but uh, I just needed a place to set my tent up and then go do the other things I wanted to do. I mean, if I want to go to a strip club, I could go downtown and find a, a dive down there if that's what I want. I go to Sturgis for something different, you know. But, you know, like I said, if you look, you can, you can find that kind of stuff. I usually stayed at the Buffalo Chip. Well, 
not every time I went, but I stayed at the Buffalo Chip quite a bit, and I really liked the Buffalo Chip. One of the things that they have at the Buffalo Chip is the big concert area, the great big stage platform all set up for big name bands and shows. And uh, being that it's a private campground, you, you know, you pay your fee to get in there. Uh, it isn't just open to the public. Uh, it, well, it is if you pay. So you, it isn't something you would just blindly walk into. You'd have to stop at a ticket box and, and buy your tickets to get in. Whether you're going to camp there or just see a concert, you know. Um, you can just go to the Buffalo Chip for the concert. You don't have to be a camper. But then again, you can get a, pa uh, a camping pass where you can camp there, see the concerts and everything. But anyway, part of the show that they have there in the, in the evenings is, you know, the Miss Buffalo Chip, where the girls come out in these scantily clad bikinis and they march up and down the stage and they get voted on Miss, who's going to be Miss Buffalo Chip. That's not really too hardcore. But what I saw was prior to the concerts, now depending on what concert it was, you know, some bands bring a different crowd than others. But uh, there was like this uh, pre-concert time, you know, the concerts usually, like if you had, a, had like ZZ Top playing, they probably wouldn't start playing till like 10 o'clock in the evening or something like that. So you had, you know, people start to show up around six, seven o'clock, get their places there. And some of those people were pretty wild. There was one dude, I kid you not, that walked around there every evening. This was one, only one year that I was there that I saw this guy. I never saw him again after that. But he would walk around the concert grounds butt naked. I mean, I think he had a gold chain or something like that, but other than that, pair of cowboy boots, everything else, he was, I mean, was all his junk hanging out. No tan lines, so the guy apparently was pretty much into being naked quite often. But he walked around there like it was nobody business, and of course he really turned, some people would be like, did you see, you that guy, he's just butt naked, yeah. You see a lot of, uh, of, of uh, uh, prior to the concerts, I saw a lot of scantily clad women too. Nothing real nudity, but I did see some topless stuff, uh, but not full nudity. Uh, so, like I said, depending on the show, depending on the situation, you, and I don't know if they even uh, allow that today, but back in the day, that's what, that's what you had, that's what you saw. People would just do whatever. It was whatever you wanted to do. No, it, it, it didn't matter. You know, if you want to take clothes off, nobody cared. They had these upraised platforms out in the, in the uh, stage area, too, that weren't part of the stage. They were actually like big spools, like electrical spools, that they used as tables where you could st stand there and put a beer on there and drink your beer during the... the when there wasn't a concert going on, or you know, when there was a concert, people would stand up on those, and I saw some uh, nude women on those too, out in the crowd, where you know, just to show off, climb up on the spool table and and dance around naked. I guess when people get enough alcohol in their systems, they'll do just about anything. Other than that, you know, it, it it's pretty tame. I mean, it's. <laughs> You're not going to see uh, any of that stuff just showing up in Sturgis and walking down the street. Uh, you may see some uh, scantily clad women, but you're not going to see full nudity. As far as open sex, I have never really seen it, but at the Buffalo Chip, I was uh, there one evening before the concert. I was parked on my bike here. And I had some uh, lady walk up to me who was pretty much uh, barely covered. And uh, she walked around me a couple times, you know. I'm sitting on the bike, she's walking around, and I'm just like, 
you know, I'm out there shopping for a, a, a woman, especially one that, you know, looks like a, a street hooker. <laughs> but she uh, says, wow, I really like your bike. And I says, oh, thanks. I appreciate that. She goes, well, I like what's sitting on the bike much better. And then she propositioned me, uh, which I refused. And she was kind of surprised, but she tried again and again. And I said, no, I'm... I'm not interested, thank you. And she moved on. Well, as the story went the next morning, they had like this little uh, pavilion or something where you could go and get coffee and, and a donut or something. And a lot of people would just kind of go down there and hang out in the morning and, and sit around. And, and uh, my buddies and I went down there. We were sitting there drinking some coffee in the morning. And this dude comes shuffling up there he has no shirt on he's got just jeans on he's barefoot yeah he, oh, where's the coffee it was right over there he gets a cup of coffee comes back and he lights up a cigarette and he says man you wouldn't believe what happened to me last night he's i had a, a few too many to drink for one but he said this lady come up to me and she propositioned me right before the concert I'm thinking, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I know all about that, because it happened to me, too. This lady propositioned me, and, you know, she offered me, whoo, <laughs> you know, to go around the world, and I, I said, yeah, sure, and she says, well, come on back to my tent. So he followed her back to the tent, went in the tent with her, and uh, there was some guy with a camera, and says he filmed the whole thing. And they said they were going to put it up on the internet on triple uh, x.com or whatever they will put it on. I don't know. But the guy was all upset. He says, you know, oh, I regret every minute of it. I, was, I had too much to drink. And now this morning I'm remembering everything I did. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, what did I do? So he said, you might see me on the movies. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I guess that's his own fault, though. You know, he got himself into that one. Other than that, though, you know, it's pretty rare you're going to have anything like that happen uh, that I'm aware of. Now, like I said, if you want to, if you're into that kind of thing and you dig deep enough, I'm sure it's there just like it is anywhere. In any city, in every town in the United States, you, if you dig deep enough, you're going to find the dirt and, you know, and Sturgis, I'm sure it's out there too. Well, there you go. It's uh, <laughs> the middle of winter. We got another month and a half, another two months probably to go. And uh, it's going to be a long time till it warms up to springtime. And I'm really, really looking forward to that. Because this uh, frigid below zero temperatures are not my bag. You know what I mean? I could, I, I wouldn't even try to start this thing because the oil in there is probably frozen solid and it wouldn't even hardly crank over. Uh, I wouldn't want to ride it in this weather either. Boy, you get frostbit so darn quick, it wouldn't, you wouldn't be funny. Well, thanks for watching today. Give my video a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you along. Oh, I got tons of stories. We can keep talking all day. Thanks for joining me in the man cave today. Until next time, cats, ride hard and die free.